AT&T is one of the world's leading communication services companies serving the needs of customers in the UK and in more than 170 countries worldwide. Our main activities are the provision of fixed line services, broadband, mobile and TV products and services as well as network IT services. BT is obviously a large global entity. Uh, I'm part of global services and within that I'm part of global banking and financial markets. And within that area I'm part of unified trading and that deals with um, in and around the trading community. The trading community, those are basically the traders that you'll see on the exchanges, the hedge funds, the actual traders that actually uh, sell and trade bonds and stocks and things. So the traders come to BT to provide uh, mission critical voice services and data services. So the uptime is, is crucial in the trading community and that's what we offer. Some of the challenges that we are facing today as far as supporting our customers is the fact that our clients are getting a lot more sophisticated in the sense that they're bringing their own devices, we're working up into the cloud, and we're even into some of the customer's infrastructure. These challenges change the way that BT has done business in the sense that we do need to effectively monitor not only our platform, but some of the platforms on the customer prem that are related to our platform. So instead of just looking at you know, the trading platform, we're looking at the voice over IP platform within the customer infrastructure and even some of the carrier related things. So it does expand our reach and depth into what we view into the customer estate. I've definitely noticed the change in the, um, the speed in which our customers do business and it, proposes, it poses a challenge to BT in the sense that we do need to be on top of that and ahead of that curve. So we do have to leverage not only our strengths but also join up with some vendors to key in on their strengths to provide the overall solution to keep ahead of that, that trend. What prompted BT to work with NIQ is the fact that we're getting into more of the customer state. So instead of just dealing with the trading platform, we're dealing with things like voice over IP quality as well as uh, server maintenance. And that's where we kind of wanted to leverage some of the things that NetIQ had to offer. So they're very strong in the app manager space where they're monitoring wood quality and as well as servers. So we want to leverage some of the things that NetIQ already had to offer and bundle it into our overall service offering. I think it's important for vendors and, and partners to bring a broad range of capabilities because the space that we're dealing with does encompass so much. And if we leverage some of the things that, for example, NetIQ has to offer in the securities and monitoring strength and fields, uh, we can definitely leverage that and include that in what we have to offer as our strengths and provide the customer with a complete end-to-end -end offering. One of the key things to ensure that we're successful in the future is to make sure that we not only capitalize on our strengths, but work with vendors like NetIQ to leverage their strengths to make sure that we keep on top of not only the trends today, but the trends in the future.